Hi everybody, John from Bad Outdoors with Taylor and Alex. So we initially we were, we were planning on doing a, another most honest boat review, but Taylor is shy and new to this whole thing, so um, wasn't working out real well. But she's going to be my trusty assistant. Um, if I miss anything, we have notes for her. Um, that we made her not that long ago, so we really didn't give her enough time to practice them, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, she's nine, so I mean, I can't judge her too bad, I suppose. Um, all right, so here we go. This is a Tracker 2018 Tracker Grizzly 1860. Uh, this is the duck boat slash uh, river fishing boat, one of our rivers here in town is too shallow for my targa uh, and it's good smallmouth fishing so uh, this is the boat that, that gets us there um, we had to do some boat in trips into a reservoir upstate some which again the targa doesn't do so well in the shallow water so we take this uh, and this is also our duck hunting boat you might see a glimpse right there of the blind um, I will throw some pictures up it is the end of July so I'm not gonna put it up right now um, it's about 85 degrees out and I don't want to sweat that much so um, basically when we got this boat it was just an empty hull nothing in it there was the rear bench um, and that was pretty much it there's the storage under the seat there was a two seat post mounts uh, one right there the screw in post kind one right here uh, we replaced them both or something a bit more sturdy. Can you hop up real quick? These uh, was what were on it. So it matched um, Something a little more sturdy because they were going to be used for hunting um, possibly shooting out of um, So we took those out we moved them Obviously you can see I have one there I have one here as well um, I do have some family members that don't get around real well and actually need a seat to sit in and that was in hopes of getting them onto the boat. Um, so I guess we'll start from the back. So here, it's a 2018 Mud Buddy, uh, the HDF 40, it is EFI. Uh, I haven't done any internal work to it. I do have a big blade prop on it. It did come with the Raptor prop, which was good enough. I uh, get a little bit more speed out of it, but uh, less hole shot, hole shot and less can I take uh, the camera? Load carrying ability. So uh, I'm a big guy pushing 400 pounds. Uh, my brother, who is my, other than my kids, my main fishing buddy, is three something. So just in and of ourselves, we have a big load. So um, that with just fishing stuff and 12 gallons of fuel will get us to 20 to 25 miles an hour regularly, depending on wind, depending on uh, the water conditions. With a heavy hunting load, that is the blind 12 gallons of fuel. Um, I do take the trolling motor off for the hunting season. Uh, one or two of my children, an, at least one adult, and a few dozen uh, duck decoys as well as goose decoys will push 15 to 20 on the river depending on what the current is doing that day. So um, so I suppose we'll, we'll go from there. So electronics wise, um again well i guess we'll go to the fuel tank 12 gallon tank do have the fuel line run under the gunnel over there all the way to the motor with the quick disconnects um i only run rec fuel in this it is kind of a pain in the butt in some of the places where rec fuel is available to get the boat in there so i have it easily accessible where i can get it take the, the gas tank off um <clears throat> Electronics wise, I do have a Minn Kota power drive did do the co-pilot on it so I can keep the <clears throat> uh, Foot pedal also have the remote. This is a 50 pound thrust. I do personally feel that it is too small um, Partially because it, it's it's not a real powerful trolling motor plus being a flat bottom mod V the wind and the current do play a lot of havoc with it so there's times where if the wind's blowing one direction and the current's blowing another you literally the trolling motor won't move you anywhere um, 
so that is a bit of an issue uh, other than that I'm, I'm happy with it just wish it was a little bit uh, higher thrust do have two hummingbird helix sevens they're the gen threes uh, mega side imaging uh, one of them mounts there I don't have it right now I use that one um, as the navigation on my big boat over there <clears throat> so it goes back and forth I do have a little Garmin I want to say it's a striker five or strike four or something or other I can't even remember I use that mainly for navigation and um, water depth uh, <clears throat> up front I do have three LED light bars which work great they are ooh, I was way off there they were uh, the cheapo versions off of car ID I want to say the brand is lumen um, they weren't real expensive and I figured I was gonna be beating them up so I didn't want to spend too much money on them and surprisingly they've held up great uh, this boat did not come with any navigation lights so this one I installed first um, didn't like it's the ink and not ink, the little bulbs that kept blowing out so i got rid of that uh did the led up front those have worked great no complaints there uh everything is wired by myself i do have the plug for the uh mencota i have all the wires running through these plates these plates um are removable they are riveted in so you have to drill the rivets out uh, you'll see on the one over there, I haven't had a chance. I'm replacing them all with uh, machine screws. So um, that next time I have to pull it off is definitely getting replaced. Also have the fish finder, the helix wiring run through there. And then we go to the back. I have a two, and this is, it's all 12 volt system that trolling motor is a 12 volt so I have them lined in parallel they are 31 series interstates uh, no complaints with those I do have a cranking battery that is also an interstate I want to say it's like a 27 maybe series um, I do have a Minn Kota digital three bank charger has worked great no complaints um, I'm waiting for the availability but I'm going to be getting the Minn Kota alternator I have one on my big boat love it um, don't want to go without it and then I did install, I want to say that is a 700 gallon per hour bilge, which here is how I have it plumbed. Works great. Luckily, I've never had to use it. This boat is pretty watertight. Four transducer. I do have a, uh, the cheapo version. That's just a piece of poly deck, the white poly deck, uh, a board that I had laying around. So I use that and it works like a million bucks. Um, I did do it's a custom switch panel I do have a battery disconnect on the uh, battery back there you probably saw it um, but everything is run off switches um, the center light bar up front has its own and the two side have their own there is a green LED light bar that I don't know I don't know if you'll be able to see it here right there um, I do have what I like to call the idiot light right back here uh, which is pointed at the uh, drive shaft of the uh, boat motor so if I get in any trouble get anything wrapped up I can see it to get it all cut out uh, on the 1860s right there is where the placard goes which I had to move to there which you have to have displayed on the boat so all I did was move it. Everything works out great. Uh, behind Taylor there, you will see a uh, hook, like a decoy hook. And then I have a push pull here. Um, I say, is there anything else? The gun box. I haven't gone over the gun. Oh, yep, yeah, the grab handle here. Um, I do have the rivet nuts which are awesome so i can pull this out i pull it out when i store it so then i can put the cover on it and don't have to worry about uh, this protruding and then i have the gun box 
gun box has quite a bit of storage. Um, I have an extra prop in there for the motor and for the uh, trolling motor. Daddy. Uh, tools to switch everything. Um, do have some hydro turf. That was kind of a last spur of the moment thing a couple years ago. Threw that on there. Uh, it's not straight. It does work. I didn't prep it correctly, so it is coming off on the one side. I want to do the entire bottom with it. Um, it has gotten a bit more expensive since the last time I had to buy it, so it's going to be a little bit, but I'm going to do the whole front deck, the whole floor on the back. Um, more or less, there's been times we've been fishing and had to go quit fishing because the floor was so hot we couldn't walk on it anymore. Um, as for the VersaTrack stuff, I do have just the cheapo, I want to say they're Berkeley, and some uh, Bass Pro Shop little plastic rod holders. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, this boat is rock solid. Um, like I said, we do quite a bit of hunting from it. That blind, I can do a review on the blind if you guys want. Um, It'll be a little bit later in the season, obviously, because then I can do put that on and get it brushed in, get it ready for hunting season. Our hunting season starts September 1st, I believe. They haven't come out with their dates yet, so um, September 1st should be it. So it'll be sometime next month. We'll get that in there. Hopefully, I'll have time. I have a fishing tournament, big fishing tournament, towards the end of the end of uh, August, so. Hopefully I'll find some time. Um, other than that, I mean, this thing, we've hit stumps, logs. I ran into a bridge once. Uh, that there's, there's a story behind that. We were kind of in a hurry trying to get to our spot. And uh, I cut it a little too sharp and slid into one of the one of the bridge pylons. So, And it bounced off. didn't even leave a scuff. So this thing, I have absolutely no complaints. I'd buy it again. I do believe they discontinued it during COVID. Um, and I, I want to say they came out and they still had the 1860 with the center console in it. Or I guess I guess it's not a center console, but the side console, the SC version. Um, but I think for 2022, I, I recall seeing it back on their website. So uh, they are or will be available again, which is good. These are great boats, uh, well worth the money well worth the effort so uh, if you guys have any questions comments uh leave them down below if not we will uh see you next time hopefully it's soon i've got some stuff i need to do some video editing on and hopefully we'll get out fishing here soon and get some good fishing video so until then anybody no. how do you end the video oh. <laughs> you do it all right, I guess nobody knows how to do it. Smash the like button or hit it gently. I mean, no need to smash. Violence is bad, kind of, I guess, yeah. Um, unless you're hunting and stuff, right? So gently, just touch or rub, massage that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. It's free. doesn't hurt you. helps us. Uh, if you want, hit the notifications. Unfortunately, with my work schedule and everything that's going on and the kids' schedules, you're not going to get bugged with a lot of notifications because videos aren't coming nearly as frequently as I'd like. Uh, so yeah, massage those buttons and subscribe and do stuff and take care of yourself. We'll see you guys next time. Have fun out there. Remember, get your kids into it. Have a good day.